Welcome to the Interaction Client Did You Know video series by CPI. Hi, this is Ruth Lockery, CPI's call center guru, with our next entry in the Interactive Intelligence Did You Know series. Today we're going to be talking about the status field on your client and the concept of presence. There are several things we'll be going over in this post today. First of all, why would you set your status? Second, how do you set your status? Third, how do you include the time and the details of your status? Fourth, where do I look on my screen to see what status is set? And finally, what can I do with custom statuses? Oftentimes when I'm working with customers, people will ask me, why should I bother to set my status? And that's the first thing I want to talk to you about now. It's really important that you set your status in your client to help other people in your company. The first person you're going to be able to help is your company operator or your departmental administrative assistant. By setting your status, that person can see and communicate to another caller what you're doing, where you are, what time they can expect to hear back from you, something that's time-saving for them and for you. The second reason why it's important for you to set your status is because of the information it communicates to your colleagues in your company directory. Here you have a column that shows your status, shows the time you're going to be returning, and you can even include details about where you're in a meeting at this point in time. Really, really helpful to increase the efficiency of people all across your organization. The third reason to set your status is the one I'm the most passionate about. It's the one I believe is the most important. When you set your status accurately, an outside caller to your company, your customers, is told exactly where you are and when they can expect to hear back from you. So instead of dialing my desk and having my phone ring three times and then just getting dumped into voicemail, my customers call and hear that Ruth Lockery is in a meeting until 11 a.m., now they know not to expect to hear back from me until after that meeting is over. I've given them a higher level of service than they can receive by calling someone who works in a company that doesn't have a client with this kind of power. Next, let's talk about how you set your status. There are two ways to do it. The most common one is to go directly into your client. Click the drop-down menu. Here are the statuses you can select from. Let's set in a meeting. The other way is a shortcut. Did you realize you can go to your interaction icon in your system tray and right click? There's a list of statuses and from here you can select and have it changed very quickly. After you've set your status, you can include more details. Let's look at the client again. After clicking the drop down and setting the status to say in a meeting, let's click set status details. Now I can set the time I plan to return, and I can include a note which is seen by people internal to my company. Perhaps I would want to say I'm in the main conference room. That gives folks additional detail about where to find me and what time I'll plan to return to my desk. Let's return to the icon in the system tray. A moment ago, I mentioned that by right-clicking on this icon, you can change your status sort of as a shortcut. Now I want to point out that sometimes you'll see this icon blinking at you. That's to remind you that you are in an unavailable status and hopefully will prompt you to set yourself back to available to receive phone calls again. Finally, as we complete our discussion of the status in our interaction client, let me let you know that you can have custom statuses created. Perhaps your department would like to track how much time they spend doing certain types of work each week. Your system administrator can create a status for you. You can have people in your department use that status and then run reports at the end of the week to show how much time people spent doing that work. It's a very, very helpful feature. There's one other thing that I want you to know about your status. There's the ability to auto change your status and that's set in configuration and we'll be discussing how to do that in a future video. For now, I just want you to know that that feature is available to you. So that's it. Everything you need to know about setting your status and presence. Thank you for watching. You can find more information and comment on this video at blog.comprod.com.